The next feature that is intensely important to understanding Earth's erosional history is a mysterious formation called potholes. But these are not a geologic mystery, on the small scale at least, because they are understood as being formed from water vertices from river currents. Wind vertices, aka tornadoes, have an upward force, while whirlpools have a downward force that drills into the bedrock. This is why potholes are found in rivers all over the world. And also along the coast. The size of the pothole shows the size of the vortex that shaped it. And the deeper the hole, the longer the vortex was sustained. Potholes can also be found in incredibly high density. They are also correlated with waterfalls. And correlated with glacial polish. A spiraling rut pattern can sometimes be found. And they can even bore through mountains. You can also find potholes with the central piece intact. Here you can see the sandstone layers match on the central piece. This is an erosional feature, not a volcanic one, as some suggest. The grooves in the side of slot canyons show the size of the vertices that help carve it. We can also see the different stages of potholes carving into walls. Which we also find in Greece. Where there is a very thin intermediary that only water could preserve. This is in a current rut landscape. On terraced landscapes, potholes are also found. They can be found in clusters that can commonly link together to form lines.
and can even form long snaking paths like a meandering river. Potholes are also found climbing up the mountains. and hanging out on top of mesas. On high points that overlook thousand-foot deep canyons, and on the summit of granite mountains. When they cover high-altitude terrain, they give the landscape a beveled surface. This is a key feature of scablands. 